We all learned in the past 15, 20 years that uh, nature already knew how to do it. And every time we've gotten involved, we've messed it up. So moving back to patterns and systems and orders of nature is incredibly sustainable and it's incredibly efficient. The way we're producing food and meat in particular today is unsustainable and is leading to a lot of greenhouse gas emissions. By using livestock and bringing back different grasses and different species, it's going to change the way we farm. An integrated crop livestock system is an agricultural system that actively integrates a livestock component and a crop production component. I think when we have this conveyor belt system of this like production, we, we tend to focus on a few traits of trees or animals, and therefore we forget that there's like a complexity and like the beauty of a diversity that actually creates the resiliency in a system. Biodiversity is our secret weapon. We can't do it without it. It's using biodiversity to provide services that are now being provided by external inputs, offsetting those inputs using living organisms. My name is Jamie Irwin, and my husband Robert Irwin and I run Chaos Sheep Outfit. I am a first-generation rancher. My husband is a third-generation rancher. The reason we're a good mix is I kind of bring fresh eyes on the scene and he has a generational knowledge um, that is really, really important for successful livestock operation. So sheep are going to be mowing through these vineyards, uh, grazing grass. Once it's harvested, they're going to clean up all the extra fruit so that the diseases won't be there to go into the host into the following year and then they're going to clean up all the summer uh, broadleaves and annuals that have sprouted uh, in the vineyard throughout the summer. In the, in the winter time, they're going to take the nutrient cycle and they're going to move the nutrients throughout the entire vineyard. So they're going to spread all the grass that was here through their stomach, spread it out through the entire vineyard. The benefit that we provide for landowners and land managers is bringing down their costs for mowing and, and managing their land as well. Sheep are able to put on up to a half a pound, sometimes more than half a pound a day while eating grass. And then the manure that they drop out the back still has 90% of the nutrients that they took up from the start. Grasses are meant to, to be chewed on by a ruminant animal. They end up getting more seed production with a ruminant animal grazing. Biodynamic orchards and vineyards need to have the animal component because they take away from the pesticides and the, and the mowing that they would otherwise have to use. We're affecting thousands of acres very quickly. One landowner can have 2,000 acres, which is a small ranch in California, and by changing just a little bit of the way he thinks about how he manages that property, it affects drastically 2,000 acres. So that's carbon sequestration on 2,000 acres like that. Well, this is a win-win for uh, both the producer uh, uh, of the crop and the producer of the sheep. I think the biggest winner of everybody is the, is the land and the animals. For us here in California, especially in the Central Coast, water is probably the biggest issue for us. Uh, bringing livestock into an agricultural situation holds more water. We're increasing the manure, the organic matter in the soil. That's carbon, that's holding water capacity. This summer, we had the biggest fire that ever happened in California. Having the animal sprays here has made our farm much more resilient to fire. You could see a real big difference between our place and our neighbor who doesn't graze any animals in just the color of the ground. If you've got stuff where you've got a tree that's hanging down and you have tall grass underneath it, the grass acts as a ladder and then it just goes right up the tree and then you lose the tree too, so. When the animals come through, they lift the understory of any low hanging branches and really reduce the speed in which if a fire did come through, uh, you, you wouldn't have that high ladder burning because that understory has been, been grazed. My name is Jean Neer. 
I was born December 31st, 1914. That makes me 103, and apparently I'm going to get to be 104. I've been raising sheep for uh, 53 years. The reason I got sheep in the first place was for fire control, and that was the beginning of sheep in my life. And in the next 20 years, we need to have more people that are able to manage marginal landscapes. It's going to be really, really important to get more people in the livestock production side, because as, as we are teetering right now on a knowledge and infrastructure cracking point, where we're not gonna have the infrastructure or the knowledge base to train the next generation of people that are gonna be interested in, in chasing ruminants around. The Grazing School of the West is a vocational training program for a next generation of land stewards working with livestock. The vision has been to invite new relationships in inner cities to, to build a bridge to link opportunities for folks who are looking for work with the work and opportunity of being urban grazers. At the end of our run, the, our biggest achievement won't be how many acres we graze, but how many people we got it, uh, excited about doing what we're doing. Growers are listening. The consumers want a different system. Everything is poised to, to be able to do it. Building something with the kids is why I do it, and, and doing something that makes sense. Feeling like we're making a difference um, in the animals and in the land. We're creating a critical mass here that can really be used to change the paradigm. I think life's about relationships, and, and the relationships not with just people, but with the land, the animals. And so if you build relationships and everybody works together, the only thing that can happen is positive.